Situated on the shoreline of Lake Ontario, Humber College's Lakeshore campus is home to almost 8,000 full-time students. It's also part of a tight-knit community with shops, art galleries, and restaurants that showcase the area's history and culture. Much of the Lakeshore campus was originally home to one of Canada's largest psychiatric hospitals. In 1884, Daniel Clark, the medical superintendent of the Provincial Asylum in Toronto, proposed that an additional asylum be built on vacant lakefront farmland in Minico. Two years later, Kivas Tully, then Ontario's chief provincial architect, completed the initial design. Instead of a single large building, Tully proposed that the hospital be eight separate buildings called cottages, which were designed to feel more homelike than traditional institutions. Construction on the cottages began on June 14, 1888. In January of 1890, the Mimico Asylum officially opened its doors to 116 patients who were housed in two cottages while the rest were under construction. After 20 years in operation, almost 1,400 patients called the asylum home. At that point, the cottages had expanded and the hospital had changed its name three more times. In 1979, the institution, which was now known as the Lakeshore Psychiatric Hospital, closed its doors permanently, transferring its remaining patients to facilities throughout southern Ontario. Twelve years after the Lakeshore Psychiatric Hospital closed, Humber College signed a 99-year lease with the province of Ontario to acquire the hospital's land and buildings. The college began a full restoration of the cottages and the grounds in 1993, also renovating the underground tunnel system that had been used to transport patients. By 1995, most of the old structures had been completely restored, and the campus opened as the Robert A. Gordon Learning Center. It's really changed in the last 13 years. It's now this, this vibrant hub of uh, niche learning at Humber College that includes postgraduate education, the degrees, uh, the drama, music, and it's, it's a very unique kind of place. The Lakeshore is very unique because we have the West Campus and the East Campus. Uh, the West Campus is the former Teachers College, which we took over some time ago, and the cottages on the east side of the campus are the most more recent development. And now that we've uh, added the L building to where the cottages are, it really makes for an interesting campus with different elements. Being so close to the lake and being surrounded by different community institutions, we have a great influence of art and culture here. We're very in touch uh, with the surrounding community uh, and you can sense that in the vibe of people. Uh, there's a great overall artistic and uh, excitement to, to being in this location. We've got these amazing buildings out that combine the best of kind of modern architecture, uh, lots of glass, modern furniture with, the, with this still very, very traditional 19th century arch and crafts kind of uh, architecture. It makes for really interesting learning spaces. Uh, they're quite intimate. So the, the rooms are by and large at about 80 seat maximum. And most of the classrooms you can open the blinds and you've got a great view of the lake and, uh, and the ground. So it makes for a very inviting, very intimate, very engaging place. Lakeshore campus to me stands out because of the atmosphere. I think our campus is actually quite different than the others because we actually have east and west, we have satellite buildings, and each building has its own personality. It's just like an array of different things, but it's all cool because we are all interconnected actually, believe it or not. <laughs> it's a very central location, so even when I'm meeting with friends from my program, they say, okay, we'll, we'll just meet at Humber because it's really centralized. It's easy to get to. It's a good launching point, both for you know, going out and exploring Toronto, uh, but also you know, career-wise, I feel like this is a place where people take off from. So it, it's got that actual feeling. Lakeshore Campus is really at the forefront of the revitalization of the Mimico and New Toronto area. 
We do have future plans for the Lakeshore campus. It's, uh, it's very exciting because uh, we are growing down here. So our enrollment, full-time enrollment at Lakeshore is now over 8,000 students. We're expecting more growth next year as well as we bring on new and exciting programs. So a couple of things are happening right now. We're about to break ground on a, on a new welcome center, which is going to be uh, right on the corner of Kipling and Lakeshore. Students can come there and have a one-stop shop for many of their needs from registration to counseling, a variety of those uh, student support services that they need. That'll be a great addition. The other thing that's coming that we're beginning this summer as well is a new fitness center, which will be across the street from our residents. With the input and help from staff and students, we've created a, a great plan for the long-term development of the campus. A couple of other things which are, which are coming at the Lakeshore campus uh, we plan on renovating the G building, which is the last of our beautiful cottages, which is yet to be renovated. And it's a historical building, and it was the main administrative building for the, for the hospital that existed here before. It'll be great to complete the renovations of the cottages, and it'll be a real showpiece, which we hope to have a center for uh, entrepreneurship that we can engage uh, both students and uh, graduates of our programs to help them with their entrepreneurial activities, but also engage the community, but will really accommodate uh, future growth as we, as we grow our programs here at the Lakeshore. So some really exciting initiatives for this campus.